One of the biggest claims by libertarians is that government causes debt. Socialism causes debt. So, therefore, correspondingly, socialist governments would have bigger debts than capitalist governments, correct? Let's see if this also corresponds to reality. We can see that Japan has by far the highest percentage of GDP. Compare that with the rest of the mostly free market countries and you see a high rate of debt. The U.S. being the most free market of all the countries has almost the highest. These numbers come from the CIA, Eurostat, and the IMF. Well, it's not looking too good for the libertarian side, but maybe the socialist countries will have bigger public debts. Nope. In fact, the most strictly controlled economies has the lowest debt percentage of GDP. Even China and Libya, who are not socialists but have a strong grip on their economy, still have the lowest debt in th this regards. And keep in mind, this was also before Libya was bombed to the ground and forced to have a new economic system. Well, it appears as though it's not actually true, and that this belief does not correspond to reality. However, there, are several, there could be several reasons for this. For one, these countries don't stop off to war and spend massive amounts of money invading other countries. Of course, that's not true of the other countries on the list with the high GDP. But you could also say that North Korea has a huge military budget. That's true, but it also doesn't actually go to war, which costs more money than actually just being prepared for war. There's also other reasons, like subsidizing private industry, which is a huge problem in the United States. And I'm not sure, but it's probably the same case for Japan as well. And another good reason might be because the people who should be paying the most taxes, the largest businesses, aren't being taxed.